Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be fixing the best Elden Ring Greatsword Guide by Dom's Roundtable. The Ash of War I'm using is Lion's Claw and I'm using this with the heavy affinity because the strength scaling on this sword is amazing. I noticed a few people recommending using the Blood Infusion instead and I can see this being viable too and I'll talk about an Ash of War you could use if you want to use the Blood Infusion in just a minute because it does give you a really decent amount of blood buildup as well well but the actual raw attack power is far more if you just use a purely strength heavy scaling he does have a point you do lose a decent bit of ar and you do lose about 100 damage however you gain 166 bleed which does outweigh the 100 lost ar Now, obviously, as you can see, we have got the Heavy Greatsword plus 25 with the Lion's Claw skill attached to it. And specifically for this build, I am running the Bull Goat set because you just want an armor set with crazy high poise. You want to be really big and really tanky. And because you don't need to equip a shield, because the two-handed guarding and guard counters of the sword itself are so good, that means you have extra weight left over to wear a heavier armor set though any armor set with high poise is going to serve you very well. So other alternatives I would recommend is the Omen set, Lionel's set, or of course my favorite for efficiency, the Veteran set. Next up we have got the Talismans. The three that I would recommend every single time are going to be the Erdtree's favor, ideally the plus two if you have it, but you see it works with just the plus one that I have here. Of course, the Great Jar's Arsenal so that you have enough equip load to be able to wield everything. And the Shard of Alexander so that Lion's Claw deals even more damage. And the fourth and final Talisman I think is very interchangeable depending on the situation. I'm wearing the Pearl Drake Talisman plus two as that increases all of your non-physical damage negations. As you can see, it does magic, fire, lightning and holy. But if you're fighting an enemy that specifically deals lightning damage, for instance, then switch out to that one. That last talisman really is interchangeable to fit your build. All right, so now it's time to talk about my improved build. So first up, we are level 200 instead of 198. Probably not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But we have 60 vigor. That is the vigor soft cap. Going past it up to 99 will only net you 300 HP. So it's not worth going past 60. We have base mind. We don't need a lot of mind, we're going to kill the bosses before we run out of FP. We have 43 endurance, that's the most endurance that we can have while maintaining a medium load. We have 80 strength, that's going to be the strength soft cap, the final strength soft cap. It is not the hard cap, as Dom's round table is going to say. We have 12 dexterity, that's just to meet the requirements. And we have 60 arcane. And 60 arcane is the final arcane soft cap for auxiliary status as well as the final soft cap for physical damage scaling. And that will net us 166 bleed and 824.54 AR. It's very important to keep in mind that AR is not damage. It is just the number used in the damage formula. For our armor, we have the Crucible Axe Helm, Tree Sentinel Armor, Fire Prelay Gauntlets, and Tree Sentinel Greaves. That's going to give us 110.66 poise or 111 as displayed in the in-game box. And the reason why we have that specifically is when we use the Radiant Baldrachan's Blessing or the Baldrachan's Blessing, we are going to get above 150 for the Baldrachan's Blessing and then above, above 200 for the Radiant Baldrachan's Blessing. And that's going to let us tank four hits consecutively in a row without our poise being reset. For Talismans, we have Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. We're going to have Urtree's Flavor, Shard of Alexander, and then Bull Goat's Talisman. Now you can swap Crimson Armor Medallion for Spear for more boss counter hits. I prefer that when I face a boss and for just playing through the level or the open world, I should say. The Crimson Armor Medallion is going to be a little bit better. For the Great Rune, we have Morgoth's Great Rune. That's going to give us just under 2,934 HP with the Crimson Spill Crystal Tier and the Applying Hard Tier boosting our damage negation. Alternatively, you could change the Crystal Tier number two spot to the spiked crack tier and that's going to give you more poise damage 
and I do do that for bosses as well. That's just to optimize a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do that.